Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I want to show us how to solve this radical equation easily. Solution. Right, so we are going to move this plus 3 to the other side because it's a constant. So move it to the other side to join this minus 4. Then it becomes square root of x minus 1 equals to x minus 4 minus 3. Okay, so we have x minus 1 equals to x minus 4 minus 3 is minus 7. So from here, we're going to square both sides. Let's square both, square both sides. Okay, when we square both sides, we have x minus 1 square, then x minus 7 square. Then the square. We cancel the square root, we have x minus 1, and this can be written as x minus 7, x minus 7, right? Then we expand. So we have x minus 1 equals to this times this, x square, x times minus 7, minus 7x, seven minus 7 times x, minus 7x, minus 7 times minus 7 gives plus 49. Okay, so we have x minus 1 equals to minus 7 x minus 7 x I like times so it becomes minus 14 x plus 49 okay now let's rearrange let's move x minus 1 to the other side then it becomes x square minus 14 x move this x becomes minus x we have this plus 49 we move this minus 1 becomes plus 1. So let's put this together. We have minus 14x minus x give minus 15x then plus, okay, this should be equal 0. This is equal 0. Plus 49 plus 1 is plus 50 equals 0. So now let's factorize this. Let's factorize. Factor of 50 that will give us minus 15 when we add we can do 5 times 10 okay minus 5 times minus 10 we give plus 50 which is this plus 50 and minus 5 minus 10 is minus 15 and that is the minus 15 x we have here so we are using minus 5 minus 10 we have x square minus 5x minus 10x Plus 50 equals 0. So now uh, uh, we have this first pair and the second pair. Look at what's common here. What is common here is x. We have x minus 5. What is common here is minus 10. Then we have x minus 5 equals 0. All right. So by the time we open this bracket, we have x times x, x squared x times minus 5, minus 5x, minus 10 times x, minus 10x, minus 10 times minus 5, give plus 50. So we pick this at this, put them together, x minus 10, and then we pick one of the two brackets, which is x minus 5, everything equals 0. All right, so each of the brackets equals 0, x minus 10 equals 0, and we have x minus 5 equals 0. That means that our x equals to 10. By the time we move this minus 10 to that side, or our x is equal to what? 5. By the time we move the minus 5 to the other side. Now we have to check for external solution. Let's see if the values of x that we got can actually work in the equation. So let's check for check for extraneous solution check for extraneous solution so we have uh when x is equal to when x equals to 10 so let's see let's see if this will actually work we have square root x minus 1 plus 3 equals to x minus 4. Okay, so our x is 10. That will be 10 minus 1, that gives 9, plus 3, 
This will give you 10 minus 4. That will give you 6. Square root of 9 is 3. 3 plus 3 is 6. 6 is equal to 6. All right, so this is valid. And then when x equals to 5, when x is 5, right, so we are using the same equation. We are using this. x plus 1 plus 3 equals to x minus 4. All right, so when s is 5, we have 5. Okay, this is minus, minus. So we have 5 minus 1. That gives 4 plus 3 equals to, this is 5, 5 minus 1 minus 4. That gives 1. All right, so this will give us square root of 4 is 2. 2 plus this is 5. 5 is not equals to 1. So it means this is invalid. This is not valid. So that means that the value of x is n. The value of x is, is 10. Now let's try this. Let's try this. Let's solve 3 plus square root 6x minus 26 equals to x. All right, so let's solve this and write our answer in the comment section. Thanks, guys, for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and if you are not subscribed to this channel, please do subscribe. See you next time.